What was the issue with Joey? <laughs> I, so I don't know. I heard 47 different things. I want to see a picture of the gloves. So I heard it wasn't had to do with the gloves. But it, like, no, it's it had just, to do with the gloves. It's definitely the gloves. It's, it, I, yeah. I, I, think, I think it's a combination of things. So it, it, uh, <coughs> from what I understand, at Daytona, there was some people complaining about him pulling his window net forward during his qualifying lap to get the pole. Then, obviously, there was something. They're obviously cracking down on uh, SFI ratings because the pit crew yeah. guys got a big mandate this week to make sure. I don't know if a lot of guys, pit crew guys, don't, they use gloves, but don't use maybe SFI rated gloves. So there was a big mandate that went out about that this week about, you know, we're coming to check. You better have the right stuff on. I think it's like head socks and everything. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the whole, everything head to toe uh, SFI. So then, uh, I, don't, I don't know. I heard there was some webbing in the glove maybe to make it flow air better although there was yeah you can I, they I have pictures of it, it. yeah uh, can i see it pictures uh, what <laughs> <laughs> so i thought it was somebody had, somebody had sent me a video last night that i thought was interesting where you can see him he finishes his qualifying lap daytona and only takes off his left glove and pulls the window net down so it's like you know obviously he probably didn't have, he doesn't need both two gloves like that he just needs the one to, what they're doing is if it's a webbed glove he's putting it in the window you see the guys if you watch qualifying you can see the guys stick their hand up in the window to deflect air from coming in the car, and it just it helps. I don't know how much, but it helps. Oh, it would obviously. help a ton. Yeah, and if you got it, if you way make, less, if gotta you be can less dragged by a bigger, lot, right? Yeah. Like we give Tyler Reddick because he's so small, he can barely get his hand up there. So he's like, he's trying, he's like trying to slide down to the seat to get his his long he's little. He's just sitting in the booster seat for qualifying. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so so, I, so do you think the penalty yesterday is enough, or do you <clears> think <throat> that he should be fined? Um, it's just blatant cheating. So listen, what was Chandler Smith's penalty? He didn't put a head sock on. Yeah, but I'm saying it's an SFI penalty. It was it was what twenty five thousand or ten thousand? Ton of money for an Xfinity I, I, series. I can't remember. Driver. It was ten or twenty five thousand. I thought it was fifteen, but it might be. Yeah, but that's a lot of money for an this, Xfinity series. It, this driver. is the same thing. Um, Zoom in. It won't. I don't think you can do that. This, I this I is the same thing. Tell the size of it like it, that. You, yeah. <laughs> if Look. you zoom in, it gets bigger. Yeah, zoom uh, in. Look, you can kind of see it. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Um, so yeah. So, I mean, this is they, this, they claim the same thing. It wasn't an SFI rated product, so it's essentially not wearing <clears> SFI. <throat> so it should be some kind of fine if they're going to be consistent. Well, Joey is, is an F SFI product, but it was modified. Oh, and you're not allowed to modify it. That's what I read. So like maybe you, I mean, it should still be some kind of fine. I yeah, would you think. can't give them. Yeah, I, that's what I. That's what they said on the. I but think a video, TV or something. On a similar note, and I think I heard somebody somebody tweeted about your comment during the truck race, the, the roof so just falling <laughs> off. So the <laughs> so Ty Dillon, I was spotting for Ty Dillon, and uh, the yellow comes down. I said, there's no wreck. I'm like, it must be debris. He's like, yeah, I just got hit with a roof. And I'm like, is this guy crazy? I'm like, what is he talking about, a roof? And then the 41 comes around, and it's a convertible. And I'm like... Yeah, okay. And if you looked at the 25 truck at the end of the race, like it about blew the windshield out of our, like it must have hit us flush because the, the roof was caved in. It blew the camera off. The, the windshield was crying. It actually ruined our day. But yeah. like, these guys are cheating. And what I heard this morning, I heard there's a rule coming Easy. out. Easy, that's my truck, man. Oh, well, don't cheat. Calm the hell down, So, Freddy. And I heard there was, I heard. Your I truck was a convertible? Yeah. It ended up being a convertible. So <laughs> I got a funny story. So I'm at a dance recital. I, actually not a dance recital, a dance competition. And Mike Hillman's wife, her kids take dance oh, there. Yeah. And Mike Hillman is your crew chief on this truck, TJ, right? He, yeah, oh, yeah. He's big time involved there, too. So, so Mike Hillman, great guy. Been around forever. That makes sense. Um, so <laughs> so I walk out in the hallway. Well, I saw on Twitter that somebody lost their roof, but I didn't know who it was. And so I walk out in the hallway, and she looks at me, and she goes, why would a roof come off a truck? And I said, well, I don't have any idea. So I go back in, and I find a picture, and I come back out, and I was like, it honestly looks like windshield braces broke. And they created a gap, and then obviously air gets under it. And she goes, well, that was Mike's truck. And I said, that was Hillman's truck? She goes, yeah. She said, I pray to God they don't suspend him. I can't deal with him being home every weekend. <laughs> so yeah. there was – and it looked like if you watched, like I think it was Gluck or somebody was tweeting – because remember Homestead last year, the 38 truck, who did it again apparently, um, had that yeah, deal. Had the deal where the their their, their windshield braces broke or, or loosened up, and the the windshield was caved in to gain downforce, and um, it looked just same. It looked the same as on the 41. The 41's windshield's caved in for a while, and then obviously it creates a gap, and it ends up blowing the roof off. But then I heard I heard there was seven or eight trucks at after Tech that had issues with their with their uh windshield braces so supposedly there's a rule coming out this morning about how now you a, a different way to make sure you fasten them and they have to leave tonight to go to 
Te- uh, Vegas. Vegas. Yeah. So, I mean, it's going to be – it's a tight squeeze for them guys, but it's the old – TJ just said it, <laughs> around and find out. You keep – pushing the rules as far as you can, and your roof's going to blow off eventually. <laughs> Look, all I know is that early on in the race, Bailey said I hit something, and it got worse and worse and worse. So, And I don't, like, I've worked with Hillman for years, and he's by the book. I mean, he's by the book. And Bailey, is, he did say he hit something, I mean, and then he sat know, there and watched the, it the entire I, time. I don't know about by the book. I mean, the guy won a 1,000 truck races with Todd Bodine. I'm pretty sure he wasn't 100% legal. Those are, they're, they're good. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> But yeah, I don't like I it, like it kept getting worse and worse, and I could see it down the front stretch. Like I could see it, and then I'm not talking about the roof. I'm talking about the window. I'm like, oh, dude, something's dude. happening. Hang on, a yeah. So, so speaking of cheating, cheating, cheating. <laughs> speaking of cheating, speaking of cheating, speaking of cheating, does anybody get caught cheating and not win as often as Stuart Haas? Like the sons of <laughs> have been caught like a couple times a year. It seems like since we went to this new <clears throat> yeah. car. Well. And I, what was it? Roof rails this week? They like two cars got caught. Yeah, like I get like Hendrick got hammered last year or two years ago for them louvers, but they were hauling ass when they did it. Like <laughs> this is the third or fourth time Stuart Haas has got a penalty, and they haven't been that good in two years. You well, know, like, got to get better. It's not like getting maybe, caught. Let's, I mean, let, maybe well, maybe just like let's try to get the cars better. Let's, let's stop trying to get cheat. Let's stop trying time. to cheat and just try to. They got try caught to, with that rear window the one time or whatever. Who's that? Harvick. Yeah, oh, that's what I'm saying. They keep but, getting caught. Yeah, but caught. he won, didn't oh, he? No. Did he win? No. Uh, well, yeah, maybe. that might have been. It was maybe like Vegas won. or something. Yeah, that was two years ago, right? Because he didn't that was win like last two year. or three. Yeah, that yeah. was a while ago. Yeah, that. But that might have been their last win. <laughs> but, but yeah. like, it's just I don't know. I don't get it. Like, I just. It's just I mean, I guess I literally had like when I when the season started, I put a list together and said, all right, who's on the hot seat? And I said every SHR driver. Like, there isn't one driver <clears> that I would look at and say they're safe. Yeah. No. Limbo. Yeah, I mean, I mean, Barry's probably safe. Yeah, I was gonna say Josh is probably the safest because I feel like you don't. He, you know, he's a rookie, and um, I feel like we're getting ready to find out how good he is. Yeah, but I, I mean, I honestly thought he ran a pretty good Daytona 500. Quietly ran up up near in the front half of the field, and then he was running decent this I, race too. I, I so. think this weekend we find out how good he is. And how well, yeah, we're not gonna are. know until we can start going to some of these real I race mean, tracks. It's it's easy to go get in the nine car. I and, mean, right now, Ty Gillen and. and and um, Michael McDowell looked like the stars of the series. So absolutely, you know. Yeah. <clears throat> Prior to the race, and even during the race, I know Chastain and Josh Williams were very vocal about the fact that there was no practice. I mean, Brett, you are also very so vocal dumb. on Twitter. What I mean, what do you guys think? You're not a big, you're not a popular guy on the spotter stand right now. But I don't, I, I, I don't have a spot, so I don't, I don't give think a he's, shit. Has he ever been? This what, no. what, what's what? Do you know what your first race is? Can you say what your first race is? Or it's no? in a big state. What? I don't know what that means, but so <laughs> Texas? Pro, oh, it's probably next week or no, it's probably Coda. Yeah, but that's definitely we're gonna have Coda. practice, and this time we'll be bitching that we're there. Oh, we gotta go five, five minutes of practice. Ridiculous. <laughs> But do you guys agree? Should they? Oh yeah, hundred percent. He'll leave there being like, "This is stupid." <laughs> They're paying me so much money. I watch all the practice y'all want. <laughs> I Look, here, here's the deal, though. Okay. The drivers that that aren't veterans. Imagine going into the truck series as a rookie and having to race against Matt Crafton, who has a gazillion starts in that series at these tracks. Imagine going to. Atlanta for the first time as a rookie. I mean, Jesse Love obviously proved you can do it in a rocket ship, but practicing the little things, man, coming to pit road, getting in your pit stall, um, knowing where your lifting points are, like they're screwing these drivers and teams completely over by not practicing. But I think are the teams not the ones that want it? Well, the teams want to save money, but is that really helping your sport? Because I think if, that- if we had practiced on – Friday for the Xfinity Series and the Truck Series. Would so you're those two races in Atlanta? Would those two races have looked like absolute garbage, like they did? Probably. Like I just think the drivers deserve. Yeah, I don't think it's an matter. opportunity to go out there and practice. I don't think it's. Gonna I think you, I think if you took a poll in the garage, let's poll the crew chiefs and the drivers. Uh, crew chiefs and drivers will want practice. The owners, I think, would like to just keep it the way it is. Owners, of course, they would. Owners, yeah, save a month. owners and spotters would. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if I were spotting, I wouldn't want to practice either because I don't need practice. And I'm not saying that arrogantly. Like, I don't need to go up there and watch I practice. Mean, it doesn't make me a better spotter. Hey, but let me ask you what this. What have you ever done in practice to make you a better spotter? But are you going to – you go to Atlanta is – if you go out there and practice, your first time there, you're going to go out there by yourself. You're going to hold it wide open. How, how is that even getting any practice for the race, really? Are you going to be in a pack, a 30-car, 30 30-truck 30 pack? No. If so I get are you to really do learning that, anything in practice? If I get to do that – 
and I have a problem with my car and or my driver area or what a tire going down or whatever, at least I get to go out there and know that. What if you cut a tire? Versus <laughs> going out there, then you wreck. Versus, you going, versus going out there and trying to make the Daytona 500 on time and you don't get practice. That's the I, dumbest I shit think, ever. Um, I mean, I do, I do think there's – I do think you could use a little bit of practice. Like one practice for the Daytona 500 might be, you know what I mean, like an hour long. 30, out 30 there. minutes, something. Yeah, just something like that. But, I mean, we have it everywhere else. But I don't I don't think at Atlanta, like, I really don't. I don't think a um, – And when we do have practice, it's too short. Oh, oh my gosh. Sure. He is. He's a <laughs> – What an idiot coming up, TJ. He's a man. 